Thank you guys for coming out. And first, before I get started, I did want to uh, address a few things. Somebody asked me backstage. They said, um, there are a couple of older folks in here. And do you change your material for the age of the people who are sitting in front of you? And uh, no. Uh, I'm going to tell you why, too. My grandmother knocked that notion out of me quick. Because the first time she saw me, I was super nervous. I didn't want to swear in front of her, you know? So she catches me backstage. And she goes, you, you look nervous. I said, I am. I'm really nervous. And she said, why are you so nervous? I said, well, I, I don't want to swear in front of you, Nana. And she said, what word exactly do you not want to say? And I said, well, I don't want to say fuck in front of you. And she said, sweetheart, I had to fuck for you to get here. And I was like, to the show, man, I'd have given you a ride, shit. <laughs> I don't need you on the side of the road like, my grandson needs to work, ah, you know? Well, here's the thing with my grandparents, and I will say this, I learned a lot from them about family. First of all, they were so funny and they always infused humor into whatever we're doing. And they never used the word inappropriate. If it was funny, it was funny. And I was like, man, I'm gonna do that. And they also were all about family first. That was a big thing I learned from my grandparents is family first. And I think I really took that into my family with my kids. You know, my, my, my youngest son, he tells me everything. E everything. He told me the first time he touched a boob. He walks into my room super serious, and he walks in and he goes... Hey. I said, what's up? He goes, come here. I said, what's going on? He goes, no, 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 no. Step outside. Now, I'll tell you what I thought was happening. What I thought was happening is I had thought he'd hit that age that every man hits, where they look at their dad that first time and they think, I won't beat the shit out of this dude. <laughs> right? <laughs> not, not everybody does it, but everybody looks at their dad at least once, like, oh, tell me to take out the trash again. Tell me to take out the trash again! Right? So we're walking outside. I'm tightening up my shoelaces. I'm like, oh, it's fucking on. Okay, here we go. And I'm planning on just poking him in the neck once really hard to slow him down and shit, you know, because he's bigger than me. I need to slow him down. He's a big dude. And uh, we get outside, and he goes... Touch the boob. <laughs> and I said, yeah? What do you think? He goes, well, I'm definitely gonna try to do that again. <laughs> so, but now he did try to fight me. And I grew up with three older brothers. We all wrestled or fought my dad at least once growing up. Anybody in here wrestle or fight their dad? <laughs> How old were you, man? How old? 12. 12, not a lot of muscle tone on a 12 year old. 12, huh? How'd that go for you? Not so yeah. <laughs> You know what you learn early on as a young man? Is that your dad takes it way more seriously than you do. You right? Because you're like, I'm gonna mess with the old man, huh? And he's like, and you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, man. I, listen, by the way, I asked some dude last week, I go, how old were you when you fought your dad? He goes, 30. I was like, holy shit. Well, that's just beating up an old man at that point in time, right? But you know what he said? He goes, yeah, well, it's the first time I thought I had a shot, so. And I'm not mad at him, you're going where you think you got your shot, you know? But I remember when my oldest brother, the first time he decided he was gonna fight my dad, right? So me and my other two brothers are in my room, we're all under the age of 10, I'm probably like six. My oldest brother's probably like 16. And he walks into the room super serious, right? He walks in, he's like. I'm fighting dad today. And I'm six, I'm like... <laughs> you fighting dad? That's right, I'm fighting dad. You guys got my back? And we were all like... Fuck you, we got your back? We got your back! You guys, you guys ready for some new rules? I'm like, yeah, I want some new rules! He goes, what do you want? I'm like, I want to eat cereal for dinner. He's like, you got it. I'm like, fuck that guy, yeah! <laughs> oh, he was riling us up. God, I thought there was gonna be a regime change, everybody. I needed to be on the right side of that shit, you know? 
He had us riled up. I was grabbing pictures of my dad off the wall, like. <laughs> we're downstairs following him. He's like, you guys ready? They're like, yeah, we're ready. You guys got my back? We got your back. We get outside. My dad's in the patio, and he's smoking a cigar. He's sitting down. My brother walks out, and he goes, we're fighting today, old man. <laughs> my, da my dad stands up, and he goes, OK. <laughs> now, hindsight being what it is, My dad's confidence should have been a bit of a red flag for my brother. Dude didn't even take the cigar out of his fucking mouth. He knew he wasn't getting hit, you know what I mean? Like, if you go to a fight and one of the guys has a cigar in his mouth, that's the fucking winner. That guy is like, I am confident as shit. So my brother goes, and let me tell you something. And before he could get another word out of his fucking mouth, my dad kicked him in the nuts so hard. <laughs> and he fell on the ground, right? And my dad walks up to him and goes, you know you shouldn't talk when you fight, right? And walked in the house like a fucking gangster. And we all walk past him like, yeah, you shouldn't talk when you fight. Bing, bing, bing. Well, I'm not hanging outside with a loser. I'm going inside with the winner. Like, I'm not stupid, you know?